Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be drawing the main character from Mother Made Us to Die. If you've been following me for a while, you may remember it. It's one of the earlier comics I worked on. It was written by Hansel Moreno, a uh, super awesome dude, and I end up, ended up doing a lot of the character designs and I, I drew the comic itself. It's just a little short comic and it's about these awesome, like, fantastical creatures that are out in space, you know, defending their mother. Uh, that's the spoil, spoiler free uh, description because there, there's a, a cool bit in the story you should still be able to find it on like my gum road and stuff like that the digital versions um, or if you can't seem to find it hit me up and I'll see if I can dig it up but I thought this would be fun to do uh, this was requested because this drawing is a uh, a reward for a patron that's you know pledging in one of the larger tiers so you get the 8 by 10 color drawing um, each month as well as a postcard so I usually when that happens I ask you know the ask the person what they would like me to draw and I was surprised when they requested that because I haven't drawn uh, anything from that comic in in quite a long time so I thought it would be fun to kind of uh, you know do it from from memory uh, I didn't look back at the comic but I you know I spent a lot of time working on it so the design was kind of stuck in my head now this this is probably not super close to exactly like all the details and stuff uh, that were on the character when I originally drew it but I, th I thought it'd be fun to just kind of wing it and I decided to draw it in colored pencil because I've been I've been uh, experienced experiencing yeah I've been experimenting <laughs> sorry with with colored pencils more and um, kind of using different kinds and you know doing a lot of layering and kind of just playing around but uh, I've been having a lot of fun, so I decided to go ahead and hit up the colored pencils. I used, um, for the very first sketch, you saw me using uh, the one the pencil with the white markings on it. That's an erasable colored pencil from Crayola. The, 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 the lead core, I don't know if you call it lead or whatever, but the core, the colored part, um, is soft and waxy. Uh, softer than their other colored pencils, so it, it, it's really, really good for doing like a bottom layer. Um, and it is erasable, so if you're using it to like sketch or anything like that, you can actually erase it. And then the other colored pencils, which are, you know, just the basic ones, are a little bit drier and a little bit harder, and they draw really well right on top of it. So I, I usually just pick a lot of like complementary colors, whether it be in the same color range, and then just start layering on top of it, you know, using different colors for different light and shadow areas and stuff like that. And then busting out something a little bit darker as you see me doing here to do like some line work and some extra shadows and stuff like that. I've been having a lot of fun doing this. It's it's kind of a departure from my normal style because I basically am doing like a sketch and then doing line work on top of it, which is not something I normally do. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun doing it. And, you know, experimenting is, I think, really healthy, even if it's, you know, like I said, kind of a departure from my normal style. Um, it's always good to try new stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll draw like this for an extended period of time, but I've definitely been learning a lot about, like, layering and color and stuff like that. And it might just be something that I do from time to time. But I ended up really enjoying this drawing because, you know, it was a familiar design, but I just hadn't seen it in a while. So... Like, I remember the major structures and stuff like that, but many many of the details I was kind of just, like, making up as I go along. You know, I, I did that comic a couple years ago, and it was received really well, but um, it's just been a long, long time since I looked at it at all, and honestly, I was surprised that anybody remembered it. So, you know who you are. You requested this. Thank you for requesting it. I had a whole lot of fun doing this drawing, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video, too. Um, if you want to know more about like the colored pencils and the materials I use, um, just just ask me. Uh, everything I've used in this video uh, was Crayola. I think at one point I used. Um, oh yeah, that's coming up. I use a, a, a one of the. It's Papermate. This one right here. It's a Papermate uh, like colored mechanical pencil just for that little little extra area in there. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, keep an eye out for more videos like this from me. And uh, thank you for all your support and everything. You know, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.